Hey guys, it's Shade Mahangi and welcome to my channel. As you can see from the title, we're gonna be apartment hunting in this video. Um, yeah, I moved to LA. For those of you that are new here, I lived in New Jersey and I traveled to work every day to New York, specifically in Brooklyn. And now I'm here in LA for work. <laughs> So now that there's a little bit of background about me and like why I'm here, uh, let's get into the video. I want to be very honest with you guys, this is a realistic apartment hunting video, real heavy on the realistic. Um, my budget originally started off really low um, and I am way past my budget, okay? We went way past my budget. So at certain points throughout this video, you're gonna hear me talk about apartments that are in like the 1400 ranges, apartments that are in the 1600 ranges, and apartments that are about like 19 to 2000. Um, so yeah, I had a reality check while I was apartment hunting. I'm an intern, so I don't make that much money. So I thought I could maybe find something on the lower end, but for me to feel comfortable and um, yeah, overall, just comfortable. Uh, I had to increase my budget, so that's why you see a gradual price increase <laughs> by the time we get to the end of the video. Okay, so getting into my wants, I'm gonna put them on the screen. Number one, I wanted to be in a safe place, safe area, safe neighborhood, just overall feeling safe. Um, number two, I wanted some place that was clean. The amount of places that I saw that were disgusting is atrocious number three i wanted somewhere that was going to be close to work i don't have a car so i needed somewhere that was i preferred somewhere that was like 30 minutes or less on the bus and then last but not least washer and dryer in the building again working with a low budget so i feel like they were the last uh maybe maybe not let me let me add this in there a kitchen and a bathroom also once because the amount of listings that I saw missing either a kitchen or a bathroom I do better my nice to haves would be wooden floors hardwood floors wooden floors fake fake wood just just wood floors and it'd be nice to have laundry in unit nice to have a place that was somewhat updated and not like 50 layers of paint on the wall but that, that was it. Again, being realistic, I was working with a very small budget in the beginning. So I didn't really feel like there was room to be too picky. So let's get into the video. Let's get into the apartment hunting. <laughs> so this was the first place that I saw back in May before I permanently moved to LA in June. And this was priced at $14.50, I believe. And it definitely caught me off guard because I was not expecting this small space. This is my first time apartment hunting, especially looking at a studio. And at first glance, it was really nice, right? It had updated floors, appliances, and finishes. But as you can see, it's really, really small and really tight. Even that shower was tiny. And um, I don't know if you guys looked again, but uh, that microwave and refrigerator was what they were calling the kitchen. So there was not a full kitchen. And um, when I walked in, it was leaking all over the place. So this was an immediate no, especially at that price point. So this is going to the next place that I saw. I was so in love with this neighborhood. I just loved how residential it was and I loved looking at all of the houses and the nice cars that they had. It made me super comfortable to be in this area. Um, so the next apartment that I'm seeing is another studio and it's, I believed it was priced at $14.65 or $14.75. So this place was the first apartment that I toured all by myself when I first came in June. And I definitely didn't ask all, any of the right questions. I didn't even look at the pool that they had or look inside the cabinets. So I did mess up there, but it was a pretty standard space. I liked how the kitchen was up to date and the bathroom was pretty clean. It was an open space. It did seem like it would only really fit my bed and my desk and maybe like a bookshelf, but I wasn't extremely mad at it. I just really liked how it, it was clean. It was super clean and I felt comfortable in that neighborhood. And the closet space, it was a, it was a decent amount. 
I had a walk-in closet back home, so this was what I was looking for. This was the park that was across the street from the apartment I just showed you guys. And so there's a lot of kids, so it was super family-oriented. The only con with this apartment is that it was really far from work, about 30 to 45 minutes out. Okay, so this next place I'm about to show you guys, does it, like, I just feel personally attacked and offended by this place because the what I saw online on the listing was not what was given to me in person. Don't get me wrong, I wasn't like catfished or anything, the pictures were accurate, it was just, you know, done up a little bit and they took it at certain angles, so like, there was bright lighting they put it at an angle where i was like oh my gosh this place seems like super spacious this might be a winner when i got there i was like what in the world it was it was so i like i think this place like you walked in and i was like this place definitely had a past you know and not a good one <laughs> it doesn't look that bad on camera but just being there I, you can't fully, the, the video does not do justice how bad this place was, and, um, I will never forget how bad that place smelled. Um, roll the clips. Okay, so this place made me so mad. As soon as I walked in, first of all, wait, before I even got to the building, it was literally just in the middle of nowhere, like, surrounded by parking lots, and then when I walked in, there was just a whole bunch of flies, and as soon as I got into the lobby, you could tell that it was a dingy place that they tried to clean up and didn't really succeed in doing that, which the pictures didn't show, might I add. But um, yeah, this place was $14.95 and it was an immediate no. All of the floors, different floors in that floors as in like levels in the uh, in the building smelled really 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 dirty it just it didn't have any like distinct smell it just smelled dirty which like i said was an immediate no and then if you can't tell it's a really 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 small space it's like the size of a dorm at college and it didn't even have a full kitchen the closet was small the only good thing was that they were updated it had nice floors the new ac units and the units themselves were okay. They were they were pretty clean. It's just fourteen ninety five was a lot for a place with no kitchen, and that wasn't that great. Now the amenities I didn't even film the amenities because I said there's no point. But it had a really nice gym and it had a really nice laundry room. Like they they were clean and they looked really nice. It's just I didn't. It, the building literally smelled so that was an immediate turn off and <laughs> I was like oh my gosh and so the bad apartments begin <laughs> so this next place wasn't bad it wasn't good either it was just okay right in between but I really just didn't like the walls I don't like when there's personality if that's what you want to call it um just seeing like the different warping and like the textures I, I don't know, I didn't like it, it gives me the ick, it makes me feel dirty, and moving on to like the biggest issue was the fact that I was going to have to pay for all of my appliances, so this place did not come with a refrigerator or air conditioning, and if I wanted to install a window unit, I would have to pay the building a fee to have that there, and then I had two options when it came to the refrigerator. I could either A, buy my own and pay the building a one-time fee or rent a refrigerator from the building. And um, with those added costs, it was, rent became way more than $15.50 and it just was not worth that price, especially knowing that there were other buildings that had all of this included or that I just didn't have to, <laughs> to pay those one-time fees if I wanted a window unit so I decided to pass on this place which was fine because like I said all of those little tiny like character marks in the wall not for me didn't like it <laughs> so yeah so at this point I started to lose track of the price points of these apartments but I'm pretty sure this place was at like 1475 it was really weird to me that 
the washer and dryer were in the hallways leading up to the units but at the same time as weird as it was I wasn't totally mad at it because that meant I didn't have to go into any weird creepy dingy basement to do my laundry so that was a plus I guess for this place now it did smell clean I guess because of the washer and dryer the hallway smelled pretty great but as soon as I walked in it had like this really weird smell and I was trying so hard to like this place but it was just like the smell I don't I don't know what that is I don't know if that's like a bug smell I don't know if that's like a animal smell it just it just smelled outside of that this place was pretty clean as you can see there's updated appliances and overall it it, it looks okay um, it really was just that smell another con to this place was that it was on the first floor I did not want to be on the first floor um, not only do I not like people over top on top of me it just I didn't feel safe um, being on the first floor and then problem number two was that I started to find bugs so once I found a bug there we go there it is I said never mind the smell the bugs that and the first floor just meant that this was also being crossed off my list this place right here I'm pretty sure it started off at 14.95 but I saw a unit here go before and I knew it was going to drop so it dropped to like 14.50. I love this place. I love the way the houses, the apartment buildings on the street looked. I love the way this building looked and the inside like it was they were all giving Shrek and Far Far Away Land and I just knew that this was the one but I <laughs> I was definitely mistaken. So as you guys can see it looked amazing outside. It looked really clean but as soon as I walked in I was extremely disappointed um there's just like this overall like grunge dirt that you can't really like see that the camera doesn't pick up so that kind of like disappointed me a little bit i also don't like how some of these older places have like 50 layers of paint it just kind of tells me they don't always do the best at taking care of them and like they're just you know just painting over any any of the bad stuff um so yeah like i struggled to open some of the the cabinets in the drawers this was cool how there was like a mini vanity walkway into like the the closet um so that was that was pretty nice and one thing about california i love how they have like their built-ins um it does like skeeve me out a little bit because i'm like all these people that probably had their stuff in there but the character is cool um yeah, so there was just like a lot of dirt and grime in the corners. <laughs> that's that's what really disappointed me because it did, definitely didn't match the outside, the hallway of the building. And then some of the different listings in that building, the different units, they all look different in terms of how well they're maintained and taken care of, which is a, is a red flag. The fact that this unit wasn't as clean and nice as some of the other units in the building definitely made me question it a little bit and um i think after this i hopped on a facetime call with my mom and i started opening cabinets because i couldn't really see what was up there and definitely started to find some <sighs> find some bugs so yeah and honestly that wasn't none of what i just said was even like the worst part about the unit about the apartment the worst part was the freaking laundry room y'all when this man was showing me the laundry room i thought i was about to get kidnapped it was so dirty there was flies look at these stairs disgusting it smelled and it was so oh my goodness i like i had my mom on i was about to call my mom because i didn't know what was happening like it was bad this next place started my apartment hunt where I started to go up in price range. I believe this was priced at $16.95 or at least the listing was $16.95. Um, this place, again, also was an immediate no. It was up the street or on the same block. I can't really remember as the Cecil Hotel. Um, so if you guys don't know about that, like go look it up. It just gave really bad vibes and I don't know, I, I didn't like being there. Not only that, but when I, I sat down to meet with the um, the lady that was going to be showing me my listings, um, she tried to upsell me um, and told me that these apartments started at 
18 or 19 at the lowest and definitely not 16.95 so it was definitely out of my budget and while I was there they were fixing a really really bad leak I I think some of it was in the clips but when I was in the office um, just talking about different units you could see them working outside and I went back onto the reviews for this place and they said that those leaks are really 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 common um, it seemed like a decent place, right? Like, the I love cement floors. It has, is an industrial-type loft style. Um, and overall, the unit itself wasn't bad. It was just, A, out of my price range. Um, B, I didn't like the leaks. I didn't like trying to be upsold. C, I'm pretty sure the um, reviews said that there were roaches. I can't re honestly remember, but I... I think this was the place that had roaches, so I really wasn't that happy with this place, um, and I don't even know why I decided to stay and look. I think it was because I didn't want to go back outside in the heat, and I was dreading being outside on that sh street where it was just giving weird vibes, but um, yeah, this place was another fail. So this place right here, I can honestly say was my favorite place up until this point. Um, I definitely wanted to apply, but things just didn't end up working out. So what I really liked about this place was number one, its location. It felt safe, and it, as you can see with the palm trees, it felt so much like California. But this place was completely gutted and renovated, so everything in that unit was all new. And I would have been the first tenant to use all of those things, um, so that was really appealing to me. It was priced at fifteen twenty five, so it was decent. Um, I think I was just really happy that it was a it was an okay price and that everything was all new, and and modern and um, up to my standards. Again, this was a studio. It was a small space, but um, I ended up not going with this place because the leasing agent never sent me the application, no matter how many times I asked for it. So, oh well. So at this place, I actually saw three different units. Um, starting at 1845 and going up to 1968. This place gave the vibe of a hotel. It was dark and moody, so I really wasn't sure how I felt about that, like being my living situation. But honestly, that's not something to really complain about at that point. Um, so all of these places that I saw were all studios, and this was the first unit that I, unit that I got to see being at the lower price point. Um, it was a pretty standard space, and you know, I just had my closet here as a walk-in, so I really appreciated that. I have a lot of clothes and shoes, <laughs> way too much. Um, and then it overlooked kind of like the courtyard, which was pretty nice, um, nicer than I guess looking at the street. And then here was just it was just an open space, and then with another closet, um, smaller than the last one, so that's okay. It's more like a coat closet and then this was a washer and dryer in one which I wasn't sure how to feel about I know they have them a lot overseas but from what I've heard they don't really like dry your clothes as well um the dryer portion of it so again not something to be picky about because at least there was washer and dryer in unit bathroom was amazing no complaints there I mean yeah <laughs> So next we have the kitchen. I really liked how it had backsplash. Again, it's just a pretty standard kitchen, but the the small details really mattered, <laughs> especially the backsplash. Um, and then having the updated appliances was nice too. I felt like I was at least going to be getting my money's worth. Um, so I didn't really have any complaints there. And Overall, I was just pretty happy with the space. I know I was concerned. I was like, I have no idea how I'm going to configure like my furniture and whatnot in here. But I thought that would be the least of my worries. So, yeah. So this is just a view of the entire space of what it would look like all together instead of chopped up into like different parts, different clips in the video. Overall, I really like the space. So next as I talk, I'm going to quickly show you guys um, the next two units that I viewed. Um, and also share why I didn't go with this space. Um, so ultimately, I didn't pick a unit in this building because basically what I toured and these, these three units that I toured were all taken by the time I went to apply for them. Um, so basically, I toured units that were already reserved. Um, so I did actually apply for another unit 
in the building um, that I didn't see and I did get approved. Um, the only thing was is I really wanted to tour that space. They only gave you 72 hours to sign your lease or it's decline it before you could get um, a refund. If you wanted your refund, you had to like give them an answer within 72 hours. So um, just knowing that I couldn't see the space after I asked them because a tenant was already living there, I decided to not go to this place. I just had a really bad feeling about signing for something sight unseen. Um, so that's why I didn't go to this place, but it had a really nice amenities. I had a gym, I had a pool, and everything was all like rooftop, all of the lounges. So it really, it kind of sucks that like it ended up happening that way, but ultimately I thought it was best to say no. Okay, so I'm letting you guys know right now, I do not even remember seeing this space whatsoever. So therefore, I don't remember how much it cost. Um, so sorry about that, but from what I can tell, it, it looked like it was a pretty decent space. I think my only issue with this place was that it was just, it just looked like it was a cheap remodel. And um, once I got to the bathroom, I just, I said no because showing me that the bathroom was gutted, I just felt like wasn't professional. I don't know, maybe that's just me, but I didn't like seeing that while I was touring to know that it was available as soon as possible. So that's why I said no. Um, yeah. This next place here was pretty decent. Um, this was going to be my last resort. So if I didn't find anything, this was the place that I was going to go with. I saw, I think, three different units or maybe four. I saw three units and then their model unit in this building. And the prices started at $16.70. Um, honestly, it was clean. That was what I was really going for, that it was clean and updated. Yeah, they didn't really have a closet a dedicated closet space it was just in the entryway when you walked in hanging on a rack out in the open and it was this kitchenette situation with a mini fridge and two burners but um again just knowing that it was clean and in a good location no bugs no nothing um i was i was willing to uh take a chance on um but honestly this space did remind me of a dorm that's all you could fit in here was probably a bed and a desk and I know I've said that about some other spaces before but this place was really tiny one pro that it did have going for it was that there were laundry rooms on each floor so that was something I also really liked so this next place I believe was priced at either $15.75 or $16.25 um, just when I was standing outside the building I noticed it wasn't that well maintained so that was like the red flag red flag number one and this hallway kind of like had a certain smell to it but honestly what drew me to this place were the immaculate photos that I saw in the listing she looked brand spanking new like everything was up to my standards and when I got there that was just not the case um it doesn't look bad it just was again one of those cheap cheap uh renovation jobs um so i was just honestly more disappointed than anything and the fact that the bathroom itself was a completely different look than what was pictured um also was another red flag but i mainly just didn't go with this place just because i was super let down and the biggest issue of all was that once I started checking cabinets and like went to look inside the fridge, I started to find bugs like that really creeped me out. The fact that there was roaches in the refrigerator. Um, so that's why I decided not to go with this space. But I can say it was okay. It was decent. It wasn't the worst that I saw. I just thought for what I've, I've seen the same quality of things for a cheaper price so um and the laundry room wasn't terrible compared to what else i've seen i just the bug in the fridge really threw me off looking back at the at the video footage and at the apartments you're probably like girl what was wrong with some of these places and honestly like looking at the videos they're not that bad but it's in the detail like when you go in person and see like in the crevices and like 
I was just I got the ick like really bad um so I just realized that I don't think I'm built for the um LA homes with the, the mature LA homes and the ones with a little bit of character and if I am it's probably not in my area and I probably need to go out farther um but yeah thanks for watching the video if you made it this far stay tuned for the next one with an empty apartment tour to see which one I pick um bye see you in the next video